Hi, I'm Jandra Weatherington. I'm the director of Pan American Art Projects. We're here this afternoon with the artist and photographer Randall Levinson, who is going to give us a brief tour of his solo show in our Bray Salon. Now, before I have hand the camera over to Randall, I'd just like to ask him a brief question to ask you, Randall. Give us a little bit about uh, the history of how you got started in photography and how it took you to where we are today. I got started in photography, I guess as a kid with a little box brownie, but uh, I didn't get serious about it until uh, I was up in Alaska fighting forest fires uh, in the summer of 1969. And I encountered coming out of the woods at the end of the season, firefighting season, a uh, large format photographer who was a professor at the University of Alaska. And uh, I really admired his work. And uh, he sold me a 5.7 new camera. Um, and uh, the camera I just, just clipped. I don't know if that's a bad fun. <laughs> well, we did. And uh, I'd always been interested in, in subcultures and people and road trips, which is how I wound up in Alaska to fight forest fires in the first place. I was actually in Alaska uh, fighting forest fires also. Uh, who grew up in Freiburg, and he said, why don't you come and visit when the fair is in town, and I did, and the uh, carnival people and were there, as well as the uh, livestock people, and I photographed both, but when I went back, when I was living in Canada at the time, my wife was teaching, she was working at the National Gallery, and I was teaching University of Ottawa, uh, and uh, I got back and developed my film, made prints, and the, it was clear to me that the carnival stuff was more interesting to me than the livestock. And uh, the carnival also invited more road trips. So I just kept chasing carnivals from state to state and show to show. And uh, eventually I, I was learned to talk some of the sideshows so I could eat a little better and live a little better on the road from what income I could make. So there's a 10 year period that these, these carnival stuff uh, represents. That, so that leads in. I'm going to hand it completely over to Randall now as he will start. So here we have three bodies of work. We have his carnival series, his Mexico series, and his Americana series. So if you don't mind Randall, maybe you can tell us a little sure. bit about So uh, this one on the upper right is uh, one of my typical landscapes. If I do a landscape, it'll have the hand of man in it typically. I'm not a Ansel Adams type shooter. Uh, this was a Gorilla Girl show. Uh, and this girl here would turn into a, a gorilla before your eyes inside the show. And she was the niece of the owner of the show and she had a, she was very young, teenager, and she's wearing my dark cloth. Well, she was just there in a little pink bikini, and it was so spare and thin, I said, oh, here, let me put this around you. So she's, she's standing with my dark cloth around her, which, uh, She's got religious paintings on her, George Washington on her chest, and, uh, and a tiara. Volkswagen 
counter. I used to call this mariachis until somebody from Mexico corrected me and said, no, that's a band of Nortenia, a <laughs> band of Del Norte. It's a northern band. They have different instruments than mariachis do. But I love this. People are in different different places and, 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 and they're posing. She's very formally looking off. Some are goofing. Some are making gesturing and whatnot. That was a 5.7 negative again, good view camera. I was lucky to be able to get that. I love Suburbans. That's got a 1975 license plate on it. Which is a medium format camera, still good size, still used on a tripod. And uh, set up to photograph people and landscapes uh, under Chattanooga and where Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee come together. I came out of a, this is Brooklyn, New York. I came out of a bodega where I needed to get a bottle of water. I was walking up and down uh, under the elevated and I came across these two guys in front of their garage full of bikes, which I guess they were doing for the neighborhood kids. And uh, I really like the pool of light in here. And I like, just like the, the light and whatnot. Set up my tripod and uh, Probably clicked it an eighth of a second. His arm's a little blurry, but I kind of like that. And uh, again, I, I like the wealth of discovery with the big, big uh, images, the big files you can get, the big negatives. You get close, you can you can see stuff in here. Read read, read words on cases, magazines. Uh, so uh, the closer you get the more fun these images are, at least for me, even today.